Good afternoon, Justin. Again, Lawrence from Lakeshore RV, right there in the back where your hot water tank is. This panel, just a couple screws to remove this panel here. You can get to your hot water heater. And that's where your bypass will be right back there. So after you drain your hot water heater when you're winterizing, you wanna turn that valve to keep antifreeze from going into the actual hot water heater. But you wanna drain that and then we're gonna go over to where the water pump is at. Over by your main controls here. So in the front storage bay, you take a couple access screws off here. Gives you access to the water pump right there. And what you're gonna wanna do is after you drain your hot water heater, drain all your low point drains, you're gonna wanna turn that valve to the right and then you're going to be able to take this access hose put it right down into the bucket of antifreeze and use your water pump to draw that through so that every faucet bleeds antifreeze then you're all winterized and then you would want to come back and turn that back to the left position so it doesn't draw anything out of your freshwater tank if you have anything in your freshwater tank but the big valve there on the right is your fresh water tank discharge. And then the red and the blue are your hot and cold low point drains. So that is how you want to winterize your unit. And there's also more available on your YouTube for that. But that's where your water pump and your hot water heater are located for maintenance on the winterization. Thanks again, Justin.